So we're going to use Python to create a number guessing game. So I'm going to walk you through it first. So we're going to be using here a while loop and if statements to check for answers. So we can use the game to guess numbers between 1 and 10, 1 and 20, 1 and 100 and so on. So I'm just going to run the code for you to see how the game works. Okay, and hello, what is your name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline, I think of a number between 1 and 20. Take a guess. I'm going to guess 10. Okay, notice that each time you always go to half. Okay, so if your guess is too high. Your guess is too high, so therefore I'm going to go 5. Your guess is too high, so it has to be half of 5, so there's no 2.5, so I'm going to put 2, so either 2 or 3. Guess is too low, so that means it's between 2 and, and uh, 5, so 3. Good job, you guessed it in 4 guesses. Okay, so that's how the game works. So you're, you're, you're reporting to the user whether it's too high or too low, and you're checking that in an if um, statement. Okay, so let's look at the pseudocode or the, the structure for the game. So what I find quite handy is to use comments when I get my, my empty sheet, just use comments and put in the structure of how I'm going to code the game, like the computational logic of the game. So um, I also need to declare variables and what variables are need. So I need some sort of tracker to keep track of the number of guesses that's been taken by the user. Um, I need um, what my number is I'm going to check, like X. So is, am, am I guessing, is my game going to be 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 100, 1 to 1,000, and so on? Uh, what the guess is and what my number is. Okay, so I'm asking the player their name. I'm going to generate a random number then between 1 and X, or max number, whatever that is. I'm going to have an if statement here. Um, uh, if I'm going to hard code in what the max number is, X here. So uh, if the number is between 1 and 100, you should be able to guess that in, in any seven guesses. Okay, as long as you go the half, half each time, you get it in seven guesses. If the number is between 1 and 10, um, 1 and 10, gosh, I've got that wrong. If it's 1 and 10, I think you need four guesses. Let me see, 10, 5, uh, 2, 3, 4, maybe 5, maybe 5, maybe. can't imagine you need 5, whatever it is. Um, if... Uh, I think I've got this the wrong way around. If it's between 1 and 20, you need then six guesses. Okay. So, and then I'll be using my while loop. So while the number of guess is less than six, so I'm saying it's between 1 and 20. I've got that wrong here. Between 1 and 20. So while the number that's been guessed, I guess, is below six. So if I've done it in six guesses, I'm asking the player to guess. I'm incrementing the number of guesses of the guesses taken field. And then I'm checking if guess is less than number or guess is greater than number or guess is equal to number. And each time reporting back higher, lower, higher, lower. Okay, just to give you a bit of a hand here, um, don't forget you're going to need to use a random generator. So you have to import random, which is the random library at the top of the, the, your code. Um, now, here I'm, I'm coding in what's the number I'm going to guess to. So max number is equal to 100. So my number is the random. It's a random integer between 1 and 100. So it will create a random integer and it will stick it in my number. So leaving you there with that pseudocode, have a try at that and I'll post the answer up to uh, the folder. Okay, so that is the basic sort of structure. And if you work out how many guesses you need, you might just let me know.